Well, who doesn't? Cassette community and vinyl community, music lovers. Um, I recently uh, took part in a, uh, an exchange, a mixtape exchange. Um, this was organized on Discogs, one of the uh, threads in the forum on Discogs. And you know, there were several, several of us that signed up for it. And the idea was that um, you, know, you kind of throw your name into the hat and then you get paired against someone you make them a mixtape, they make you a mixtape. So I was paired against a guy named Martin, he is in the UK, and um, the uh, again, the idea is to, to make each other a tape. So we had some emails back and forth where, you know, just pleasantries, and um, we asked each other what kind of genres of music we like, and, and so on and so forth. So um, he was very gracious and, and so, because I, I asked you know uh, do you mind waiting a few weeks because um, you know I'm getting a new cassette deck um, those of you who saw my video uh, a week or so ago I got the new Denon cassette deck back there so I wanted to use that because it would make a, a better quality recording um, and I know from his emails that he he mentioned that he was kind of getting into some kind of a Italo disco music and also just sort of straight up disco and kind of funk, that sort of thing. And so I wanted to put together a cassette for him that uh, stays true to the genres that he says he is listening to right now, but also adds a little bit of a twist, maybe throws in some surprises. Hopefully there are some songs in there that he doesn't know. So uh, yeah, we're gonna find out. When, when, I, when I make a mixtape, I um, you know, I don't usually put too much thought into it. I put a bit more thought into this one purely because I I knew ahead of time the genres that he was interested in. Usually, if I make a mixtape for a friend or whoever, um, that's not that doesn't tend to be the case. You know, it, it'll just be like, yeah, make me a tape. And so I, I tend to just make a tape that has some of my favorite songs on it. So this is a little bit different for me just because. Um, Many of these tracks are not my favorites, but they're ones that I think he will enjoy. So to start off with, um, of course, we need to pick a tape to do our recording on. And as luck would have it, I recently won an eBay auction where I got um, seven of these uh, Sony CD at Type 2 cassettes. In fact, there was also uh, a Fuji Type 1 thrown in as well. I won the auction for 99 cents plus shipping. so. Pretty good deal, and I already uh, took the liberty of opening the seventh cassette. So um, these are these are kind of interesting slide cases that Sony uh, came out with, and you just sort of pop it the tape out like that. It just comes out, put it back in. Like that. Um, I think the case is cool. What I don't like about it is how little room there is to write anything. So the idea is that the label will go on the back. Well. There's the label. Um, it would probably be okay if this was a cassette containing just one artist. Then you would just write song song names on here, right? Track titles. But having to write track titles and artist names, there's just no way it's going to fit on that, that little bit of uh, paper right there. <clears throat> so I think what I'll do is I will include some kind of card or a piece of paper and I'll slip it in here for him. And... 
that should work you know they should be good quality cassettes so it's kind of cool and um, yeah so again like I was saying when I make a mixtape I usually don't um, think ahead of time too much um, but what so what I've done with this particular tape is I picked out a few kind of bass tracks that I'm gonna center everything else around so first up is gonna be the eve of the war this is gonna be the lead track on the tape uh, I'm hoping this is different enough you know there's a fair chance he has uh, the album the war of the worlds because it's such a well-known album and although it is more kind of prog rock the eve of the war definitely has disco elements to it. the beat is very disco so we're gonna put that on we're also gonna put on Marvin uh, Hamlish's Bond 77 theme this is from the Spy Who Lovely movie I think not only is this a great disco track but this is one of the best sounding uh, pieces of music um, that I've ever heard on vinyl. I mean, okay, it's, it's maybe not up there with like uh, Stevie Dan's um, um, Asia or Roxy Music's Avalon or something, but as far as like pop music goes, this is, uh, it sounds terrific on vinyl, so we're gonna have that as well. And I, I'd say there's a good chance he doesn't have this, you know, it's not particularly common, you know, I mean, he's probably seen the movie, I would think, but especially being British, but he, I would guess he doesn't have this. And then for the Italo Disco, uh, and again, the, though of course that's only two disco tracks, but I'll, I'll be um, adding more disco, you know, as we go. I'll be kind of winging it, making it up as I go along. For the Italo Disco, we're going to have Spania, Call Me. I had to kind of dig deep here because I don't have that much Italo Disco on vinyl, so it's going to be kind of, well, he's going to get what I have. <laughs> uh, but it is a 12-inch mix, so we'll have that. We'll also have a 12-inch mix of Taffy, I Love My Radio. This is a great pop track. Um, I'm not sure yet if I'm going to do the US mix or the European mix, but both of them are on here. So I'll decide when I get there. And then finally, um, Visitors by Kodo. Uh, this really is more synth pop, but it has a talent disco elements to it. This is a terrific track. Um, purely instrumental, purely, like I said, synth pop with a talent disco elements. And... Um, yeah, it's a very good track. Yeah. So that's what we're going to base everything around. And uh, quick shout out to Gregory Short. And if you guys are interested in these shirts, there is a link below in the description. And you can see I love I love tapes right there. And I, uh, I ordered this from his Cafe Press store. He has a uh, his own store under. He, he does some designs and... Uh, uh, yeah, go and check it out. There's a, there's a number of different designs. This is the one I picked. You can pick out your shirt color. You know, there's uh, there was like white and gray and uh, blue and various other colors. Um, so yeah, please go go check it out. I think uh, I think this was quite reasonably priced. I think this was about twenty dollars, nineteen dollars uh, plus you know shipping. So it was maybe uh, I think twenty five, twenty four, twenty five, including shipping. And considering that you're you're basically getting a custom design, that's really quite reasonable, I think. So please go check out his uh, his online uh, cafe press store and order a shirt. If you like your sets, order a shirt. So without further ado, I'm gonna go make this tape, and then we're gonna listen back to it. We can actually listen back to the tape itself. I'm gonna run the tape, um, just play the tape normally through my uh, amp. And we're going to run a line out from the app to my computer here. And uh, we're going to record some of the tracks. Um, actually, we're going to record all the tracks, but we're going to play some of each track. Um, just for copyright reasons, I'm not going to be able to play much of each track. We'll just play kind of the opening 10 or 15 seconds or something of each one. And But hopefully you guys will, you know, hopefully you guys will enjoy it. So, yeah. Very cool. All right. Thank you guys, as always, for watching. And uh, yeah, don't go quite yet, stick around, we're going to play, once I'm done making this tape, we're going to play the, uh, the tracks around it. So thanks for watching guys as always, bye bye.
the end didn't you not quite so uh, I actually just got the tape from Martin uh, I just received it today I made the rest of this video a day or two ago um, you know it takes a couple of days to put together and yeah I just got this today so um it's kind of cool we've got the mixed tape so let's have a look all right here it is Cool. You know, it's a funny thing. I uh, I didn't know um, sort of what, what the protocol was for these type of mixtape exchanges, if, if there even is one. So you know, I I deliberately chose a nice, uh, high quality Type Two Chrome cassette. And, um, this, <laughs> this is a, a Type One uh, HF One Twenty. So it's not the best, but that's okay. You know. Um, I'm sure it's going to sound good, so that's fine. Although it's a 120, and those, those can really get stretched. Um, and as we'll see in the note here from Martin, uh, he kind of lost patience with the 120 as well. So um, uh, it's kind of funny thing. I think this is photocopy, like he wrote it and then photocopied it. In fact, I'm more certain it is. Here's the, uh, the track listing. Because it's a 120 tape, we've got an hour on each side, so we've got a lot of tracks on here. We have, um, let's see, nine, looks like 19, no, 20 tracks on each side. And I don't know most of these um, tracks, but he has a little note in the middle here that says, uh, I will never make a two hour mixtape again. I got bored and filled the end with Ario Speedwash. <laughs> okay, so um, he said the end. I think he means the end of side one, maybe, just because of what he wrote the note, but. I don't know, but um, yeah. So here's the track list. Um, and I mean, I know a few of the, the songs, but I don't know most of them. So UK subs keep on running. Um, Reckless Eric, take the cash, cash spelled K A S H. Flying Colors, Abstract Art. Super Matrix TV. The record, Starry Eyes. Vile Tones, Backdoor to Hell, Raz, We Complain, Destructors, Dat Chain, or at least I think that's what it says, um, Celia and the Mutations, Moni Moni, Silent Noise, I've Been Hurt. Now, I, I don't know any of these. I'm assuming that like Moni Moni is a cover version of the, the Tommy Chandel um, track, and... Uh, maybe Keep On Running is a cover version of um, the Spencer Davis group, maybe, but I don't know. Let's see what else we've got. We've got uh, track 11, Quality Drivel, Stagnant Minds, uh, Fenzy X, Soldiers, uh, Hippie Punks by Crowbar, Circa Z, I think that's a Z, or it could be a 2, but I think it's a Z, by Limps, Fashioned by Bauhoff or Bahnhof, sounds German. Um, God's Got Religion by Steps, but that Steps spell S-T-E-P-P-E-S. -E -E no relation as far as I know to the 90s uh, pop band. 
Um, we then have uh, Knuts in May with uh, Living on a Gyro. I assume that's a reference to a gyro check in, in the UK. Um, we have Liars by Insections. UFO by Blitzkrieg, uh, Blitzkrieg Pop. And then finally, the only song that I know off of side one, which is Kirsty McCall and uh, New England. So that's kind of cool, you know. Um, you know, I told him I kind of liked some rock stuff, so he said he was going to put together something that wasn't something that wasn't too heavy. Um, I got the impression he was into some harder rock, maybe even some punk stuff. Um, in addition to like the uh, like the, the disco and the callow disco stuff that he mentioned in his email to me. So definitely an eclectic mix. Um, he has a, you know an eclectic taste. So let's have a look at side two. Um, Kill Joys, Johnny Won't Get to Heaven, Amber Squad, Can We Go Dancing, Angelica by The Favourites, I'm Going Down by Dawn Chorus, no idea if that's a Mary J. Blige cover, probably not, um, Teenage Head, and Ain't Got No Sense, uh, The Exile, Fascist DJ, Art Attacks, I'm a Dalek, <laughs> Doctor Who reference, uh, Jags, Back of My Hand, Roll Ups, Last Night, Where Did the Money Go by Victimize, Punk in China by Modern Temper, Cream of the Crop by No Choice, Language School by Tours, T O U R S, uh, Train Spotters and High Rise, Jolly Mixture and Baby It's You. Uh, this looks like the Pacifics and Cans, and then the second song I know, only the second song I know on the album, which is um, Under Attack by ABBA, then we have Why by The Seas, Seas like uh, seizing an object, S-E-I-Z-E, -E. Um, Another Girl by Only Ones, and finally Obsession by Lucky Dips, so here's the track listing again. Yeah, I only know two tracks on here, so um, I'm going to be curious to to give this a listen. Um, I don't know if he recorded off vinyl, off CD. He could have recorded tape to tape for all I know. So, so yeah, thanks, uh, thanks, Martin. If, if he ever sees this video, thank you. Um, it's cool. Going to give this a try out. So, and I have your tape right here, ready to go. I just need to write out the track listings. Uh, as I mentioned before, there isn't room on here, so I'm going to have to, I'm gonna have to put together something like this. <laughs> cool. Well, hope you guys enjoyed the, uh, the video. Thanks as always for watching and until next time. Bye-bye.